In the emerald tapestry of Irish mythology, where ancient tales intertwine with the whispers of the land, there lived a goddess of unparalleled power and grace, Fadla. As the embodiment of Ireland's sovereignty, she held sway over the island's destiny, its people, and its very essence. Fadla's origins were shrouded in mystery. Some whispered that she was the daughter of the sea god Mananan Mac Lyre, while others claimed she was born from the union of the earth and the sky. Her name, meaning Land of Plenty, hinted at her deep connection to the fertile soil and abundant resources of Ireland. As the patroness of the island, Fadla possessed an otherworldly beauty that captivated all who beheld her. Her long, flowing hair cascaded like a silken waterfall, and her eyes sparkled with the emerald hues of the Irish countryside. She wore a flowing green gown adorned with intricate Celtic designs, symbolizing her bond with the land. Fadla's power extended far beyond her physical presence. She could shape the weather, summon storms, and control the tides. She was the guardian of the island's borders, ensuring that no foreign invader could breach its sacred shores. But her greatest gift was her ability to bestow sovereignty upon those worthy of it. According to legend, the first king of Ireland, Eacade Mac Erk, gained his throne through Fadla's favor. As he approached the Hill of Terra, the ancient seat of Irish kingship, he encountered the goddess. She offered him a choice, to rule with justice and wisdom or to be cursed with misfortune. Eacade wisely chose the former, and Fadla bestowed upon him the sovereignty of Ireland. From that day forward, Fadla became the guardian of the Irish monarchy. She watched over the kings and queens, ensuring that they ruled with integrity and compassion. She intervened in times of crisis, guiding the nation through wars, famines, and political turmoil. But Fadla's power was not limited to the realm of politics. She was also the protector of the land's natural beauty. She blessed the fields with fertility, ensuring bountiful harvests. She guarded the forests, rivers, and mountains, preserving their pristine wilderness. The people of Ireland held Fadla in the highest regard. They built shrines and temples in her honor, where they offered prayers and sacrifices. They sang songs and told stories that celebrated her beauty, power, and unwavering devotion to their homeland. As the centuries passed, Ireland faced many challenges. Invaders sought to conquer its shores, and internal strife threatened to tear the nation apart. But through it all, Fadla remained a constant source of strength and resilience. She inspired the Irish people to fight for their freedom, to protect their culture, and to preserve the sacred land that she held dear. In the modern era, Fadla's legacy continues to live on. She is revered as a symbol of Ireland's sovereignty, its rich history, and its enduring spirit. Her image can be found on coins, stamps, and monuments throughout the country, a testament to her enduring presence in the hearts of the Irish people. And so, the tale of Fadla, the sovereignty goddess of Ireland, is passed down through generations. She is the embodiment of the land's beauty, power, and unwavering devotion to its people. As long as Ireland stands, Fadla will forever be its guardian, its protector, and its eternal symbol of sovereignty.